So I'm Luke, half of Carl Luke Films, co-director. The project is the 15 Iran Barbie Soldier. And I'm, I'm Carl June of Carl Luke Films, the other half of Carl Luke Films. I'm Iran Bar, <laughs> film guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So last time we saw um, at the at the Ring Ten event that you guys made a, a lot of additions. So just tell us what was going into into the new additions that you guys made. Well, uh, okay. At the Ring Ten, that was a situation where uh, Mr. B actually came to us and said, "You know what? I have this venue. You want to show the the documentary." And at that time, where we still was actually making changes, and we were like, "Why not? Just to get exposure with it." So basically, that was the first time where the world seen the documentary. And myself, also we spoke with Iran and some other people in Lewis that we have much changes to do with it. So this is a version you saw that we implemented changes that we had in our mind to put in the documentary. So, like he said, um, thank you. as you see it, you grow, you get more information. Um, we definitely seen growth in it, so some of the new things that you seen before and compared to now, it's, it's a lot of new information. So I'll put it up here. Complete the story. And then Champ, now how is it when you're sitting down with the, with the rest of the fans and you're watching the documentary from beginning to end? How, what's going through your mind? Well, I'm, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's good. And uh, the things are going you know, well about it and everything, and I think, you know, we might have something there. All right, and you guys are also um, turning this thing into a, a movie. Yeah, yeah. Could you yeah. tell us about that whole process? Well, I'm, I'm going to let, I'm gonna let um, my boy Carl kind of Going well, well uh, the future film actually, the more and more we uh, listen to people, hear information, we're about 125 pages deep into the future film. We have about probably maybe about 20 more pages just to finish it off. So the whole idea, the vision was we're going to do a documentary, reintroduce Iron Bark into the world, and then come out with that future film and pitch it. And that's where we are right now. And then also to add on, it's like, Documentary can't really, his, his, his life is so vast that it's can't, we can't really tell a complete story. So the film is going to be a little bit more deeper than a documentary and of his life. So you're going to get to even know even more compared to the documentary. Okay, and then just uh, really quick before we get out of here, just tell the people at home where they can check out the trailer or if they want to watch the documentary, where you guys are going to be at for your next screening or, or whatever information you want to give out. Uh, you can actually go to um, Facebook, call Lou for information about the documentary, the Insta Instagram, call Lou, Twitter, call Lou, where all the information will be updated in a few weeks about the trailer, what's the next venue in it. Okay, perfect. Fifth King, remember, Fifth King. All right, Shoot thank you guys, and again, congratulations. Appreciate that. All right, thank that's you. a wrap. Growing up in the South Bronx during the 60s and 70s was rough. Poverty, drugs, and gangs were a way of life. With a single parent, three brothers, and four sisters all living in a three-bedroom apartment in the projects, well, that would drive anyone mad. But I had a gift. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yvonne, nobody mess with Yvonne. And Yvonne walked by, they better turn their heads. The girls never mess with Yvonne. Guns, whatever, it don't matter. Yvonne would, Yvonne would probably catch the bullet with her teeth. Half of the men never mess with Yvonne. Well, I ain't see her lose her fights. Fast hands, combinations, all, everything. Yvonne was known in the South Bronx as a great fighter. Sister got you into the game, right? Yes, sister. Taught him how to box? Well, <laughs> Yvonne always been a fighter, and she been teaching him how to fight. Street fight, basically, forever. And she grabbed the hold of him, you know what I'm saying? And told him, man, you're going to start fighting for yourself, and I'm going to teach you how to fight. I know Tommy wish his sister trained him. <laughs> My 
sister. Yes. <laughs> By the way, my sister. Because <laughs> she can fight. And she would fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. We found out that night what a fighter this trainer was. Trainer. Obviously, she must have taught me well. You got flattened. I saw a ferocious fight. Hard punch, a hard worker. Yeah. Yeah. About to fight my boy. You don't know what's coming your way. Probably one of the greatest punches that was coming up at that time as a middleweight. This type of fighting is you know, kill or be killed. I'm gonna get sure you're gonna get me. They thought Tommy Hearns was going to knock me out. He was connected with the jab. I ran, had a little blood coming down his eyes. Honestly, I thought, you know, Tommy would outbox him. You know, I thought Tommy, you know, I think it's Tommy catching him, is it? And the words were said from my grandmother, rest in peace, Ivan hit the hitman. And hitman was falling out the ring. Yo, Skippy did it, he did it. I said, he got him, he said, yeah, he knocked him out. And the whole job went crazy, man. Oh, you said your boy was gonna do it. I said, man, I'll tell you, I was on cloud nine. 